Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to go over a couple of SAT math problems. They're great for any standardized math exam, including like the ASVAB or anywhere else you have to take a standardized math exam. I'm going to go over some big geometry ideas to help solve this and word problem ideas. And then I'm going to show you the tips and tricks how to miss a lot of that and go right to the answer. So this is a no calculator exam. Let's get started with this problem right here. Step one in solving this problem is I take all of this information and I transfer it to my picture. Triangle ABC above is isosceles with AB equal to AC. Isosceles means two equal sides. AB is congruent to AC. BC is 48, so this length right here is 48. The ratio of DE to DF is 5 to 7. What is the length of DC? So what I'm asked to look for, I label as an X. So there's a lot of information here. Now that it's all in my diagram, the next step is to try and figure out um, what the point of the problem is. And I'm given ratios of sides, congruent sides, right angles in there, and it's about similar triangles. Because I know if these two triangles are similar, then the ratios of sides are similar. So if this is x, this is 48 minus x. OK, now that I have all that information there, I'm going to look at my answers and make sure I'm reading correctly what we're looking for. So that's why I label that x. So dc, what is dc? Well, as I look at my answers, there's quite a bit of distance in all of them. The overall length is 48. I know that's not a midpoint. It actually has to be that way on it. If this is 7 and this is 5, this has to be longer than this. Well, if this has to be longer than this, it has to be greater than 24. So the only answer that works is 28. So you could set up a proportion. 5 is to 48 minus x as 7 is to x. Or you could just skip right to the answers and see that there's only one answer that'll work. OK, here's a second problem. It's a word problem. Same thing. I'm going to read through this whole problem, transfer the paragraph into uh, just math notation. A player can solve easy or hard puzzles. A player earns 30 points for solving an easy puzzle and 60 points for a hard puzzle. Tina solves a total of 50 puzzles, earning 100 or 1,950 points. So I could see this is easy plus hard. The number of puzzles solved has to equal 50. And then the point value is 60 hard plus 30 easy equals that 1950. So I have two equations, two variables. I could solve with linear combinations, substitution, but it's a no calculator problem. So it has to be easier than that. So I'm just going to pick a couple scenarios. And I'm also going to identify what I'm looking for. How many hard puzzles did Tina solve? So I'm looking for hard. Well, if this solution is 10, she solved 10 hard puzzles, that would mean it would have to be 40 easy puzzles. Let me plug that in here and see if it even makes sense. 600 plus 1,200 isn't 1950. It's close, so let's try 15 hard puzzles. That means 35 easy puzzles. So 15 times 60 is 900 plus 1,050 is equal to 950. That's the answer that works. Uh, there's a correct answer, answer B, 15. So again, step one is convert that whole paragraph into math notation. Step two is see if you can figure out what they're trying to ask you about. Well, this is multiple equations with multiple variables. And then identify what you're actually looking for. Look towards your answers to see if you could eliminate answers and go right to the correct answer. OK, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.